Hi, my name is Nacelli and today's tutorial is this capybara in a migurumi. Um, this one, I made it with a 4mm hook and a compatible yarn, but in the video I'm going to make a, a smaller one. And this one with the 4mm hook, I use a 10mm eye and it turned out to be quite big. I'm going to show you in my hand too. And I'm from Brazil, so capybara is a really common animal and it's one of my favorite patterns. I also did some other uh, Brazilian animals like uh, alligator and this pink dolphin that we have here. We call it Boto Cote Rosa. I don't know if you know it, but it's just so cute. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. I also have this otter. Um, that I'm gonna teach you how to do it. All of this uh, amigurumis, uh, it's made with uh, no sewing needed. So it's all crocheted from the beginning to the end. And I'm gonna teach you how. Uh, let's get started. The written pattern I also always leave down uh, in the description box so you can follow me along. So I'm going to start by doing a magic ring and I'm going to do eight single crochets in the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight single crochets. So that's round number one. We finish it with eight stitches. So now for round number two, I'm gonna increase eight times, which means that in each stitch that I did, I'm gonna do two. So in this first one, I'm gonna do one single crochet, and then another single crochet in the same stitch. So that's one increase. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna mark here my first stitch. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. So one and two together. Two single crochets together on the same stitch. So here in the next one, I'm gonna do one single crochet and two single crochets together on the same stitch. So I already made two increases. We're gonna increase eight times total. And by the end of it, we're gonna have 16 single crochets. So I'm gonna do mine and then I get back to you. So I finished here round number two with 16 single crochets, eight uh, increases. Now for round number three and four, I'm just going to do one single crochet in each stitch in the base. So just one single crochet after single crochet, which means that we're going to have 16 single crochets. So I'm going to do one single crochet on top of single crochet up to the end of our round two times. So we're going to do two rounds with 16 uh, single crochets. I'm gonna make mine, and then I come back. There you go, now I made my two uh, rounds with 16 stitches, uh, rounds three and four. Now we're gonna make round number five. We're gonna start by doing seven uh, single crochets. So one, I'm gonna place my marker here. So this one I'm making with a three millimeters hook. So it's way tinier than this one, you see? We are starting by here. So now one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochets. So I just made here seven single crochets. Now we're gonna increase twice. So on the next 
stitch we're gonna make two single crochets together one and two so one increase now one more increase one and two single crochets together now we're gonna finish with seven single crochets so one two three four five six and seven single crochet so now you see that's the stitch mark we got to the end of the round uh, with 18 stitches because we increased that twice so now we're gonna do round number six we're gonna start by doing seven single crochets I'm gonna make one pull through seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven now we're gonna increase one time where is the focus <laughs> so we're gonna do two single crochets together one and two single crochets together in the same stitch which means one increase now we're gonna do two single crochets so one single crochet by itself and another single crochet by itself now we're gonna increase again so one and two single crochets together on the same stitch uh, now we're gonna finish by doing seven single crochets so just single crochet after single crochet one two up to the end of our round sometimes I get curious from where do you are you watching me uh, if you want it can you live down below what country are you in I'm from Brazil and we love capybaras here <laughs> so we just finished round number six with 20 single crochets now we're gonna do round seven to ten which means that we're gonna do four rounds so we're gonna make one two three and four rounds we're not uh with uh 20 single crochets so we're not gonna make any increases or decreases just single crochet after single crochet for four rounds so i'm gonna make mine here you can also make yours you can pause the video and then make your four rounds and then we come back and do the rest together so that's how our capybara is turning out this is the face so i did here my four rounds with 20 single crochets each round seven to ten now we're gonna start round number 11. so we're gonna start uh round number 11 with seven single crochets i'm just gonna do one here first and put my stitch marker so seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven now we're gonna decrease focus <laughs> so we're gonna decrease once one decrease here and now gonna single choose mixing two single crochets so one and two single crochets now we're gonna decrease again one decrease so you take just the front loops and decrease and now we're gonna finish the round with seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven so we made two decreases in this round um, and by the end of it round 11 we are with 18 stitches now we're gonna start doing the next so we're gonna start increasing we're gonna start round number 12 with two, three increases so one two single crochets together that's our first increase i'm gonna make two more so one increase one 
two single crochets together, two increases, and one and two single crochets together, three increases. Now I'm going to do four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Four single crochets, and we're going to decrease twice. So one, decrease, we're going to start by closing the head. So one decrease, two decreases. So we did two decreases. Now we're going to do four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Four single crochets. Now we're going to make three increases again. So one, two single crochets together once, one, two single crochets together twice, and one, and two single crochets together a third time. So we got you the marker here. And we finished this round, round number 12, with 22 stitches. Now for round number 13, we're going to start by doing two increases. So one, I'm going to place my stitch marker. I like to mark with the yarn itself so I don't have to take it out. So one, two single crochets together once, one increase, one, two single crochets together twice, two increases. Now we're going to do 20 single crochets. So it's just single crochet after single crochet up to the end of our round. And by the end of it, we're going to have 24 single crochets. So we're going to just do single crochets by the end. So I'm going to pause, and you can pause it too and do it. So I finished round number number 13 with 24 single crochets, oh, 24 stitches, 2 increases and 20 single crochets. And now for round number 14, we're just going to make single crochets. So it's 24 single crochets on round number 14. So this one I'm doing with a 3 millimeters hook. So the eye I'm going to use is going to be a 7 millimeters hook. And I use an oval uh, eye for, the, for making the nose in the big one. But for this one, I'm going to use a piece of yarn and I'm going to teach you how to do it without uh, needing to sew. It's just tying a knot. It's not that hard. So I'm going to finish here my round number 14 uh, with just single crochets, 24 single crochets. And then I come back to help you place the eyes and the nose. So I finish here round number 14 with 24 stitches. And now we're going to place the eye. So between the first and second round, it's where we're going to place the nose. For this one, I use an oval eye, uh, oval safety eye to do the nose. And the eyes we're going to place between round six and seven. So we're going to count here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So between these two rounds, it's where we're going to place the eyes. I'm going to place the smaller eye I have here, which is 7 millimeters. I don't have a smaller one, what the eyes I would use that. I never found a 5 one, but if I did, I would use a 5 one. If you do have one of those, you can use it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, uh, we're going to... Place them with six single crochets between them and down from them. So we have here one increase. We have one increase and one single crochet and one increase. So we're going to do, we're going to place one here like in a random place, and then we're going to adjust it. 
So you place one and then you count between six uh, stitches. Focus, focus, let's focus. <laughs> Where's the back? So you see, I did place here. So now I'm gonna count here. There is one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six. So here it will be the second one. So I'm gonna do it. And then check it if it is right for me. I don't think so. I think it has to be a little bit down here. So I think I'm going to move one. I'm going to move. So there is one increase, two single crochets. So since I moved that one, one stitch, I'm going to move this one, another stitch. So let's count. So there is one increase, two single crochets. Let me count. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where it's supposed to be, the second one. You see, now you're going to fold it and look and see if it's right. You see? So there you go. Now I'm going to uh, do the safety lock. So for the nose, we're going to come here. You do like this, and then you come here. I'm going to take a little bit of yarn. So it's the same yarn that I'm uh, using for the... The body so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here through the first and second round and I'm gonna uh, pull through this but I'm gonna pull from outside here you see I'm gonna pull you see and now I'm gonna take from inside you see inside the head I'm gonna pull the other tip so now you have inside the head the the loop and then you take this and pull through my yarn was like not the best kind it's just a tiny piece that it was left over so that's why it's like this but you don't need much to do that this so I can cut it out. Now you do this way and pull. Just gonna pull this up to the end of it. You see? Then you don't need to make any stitches. It's just close. And I'm gonna loosen up just a little bit. So it's not too inside, just, just loose a little bit, yeah. And there you go, you have the capybara nose. So you gotta do it like right in the middle of the eyes. Now I'm gonna place the safety lock and then I come back. So I, I placed the safety lock in and now I'm gonna stuff so you see how they they turn out to be so i'm gonna stuff all the way here so the face gets filled up and now i'm gonna get a little bit more stuffing and place it on the head here you see that there is a little bit of a lump so you gotta stuff it so you see look how, how cute it's turning out to be we still gonna place the ears by the end so that's if you notice that's what's off <laughs> so now we stop here on round number 14 to uh, place the eyes and the 
nose. Now we're gonna start round number 15. We're gonna start by doing uh, four increases. So one, two single crochets together, one, two single crochets together twice, one single crochets together third time, and one and two single crochets together fourth time. Now you're gonna do eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight single crochets. And we're gonna decrease twice. So one decrease and two decreases. And we're gonna finish with eight more stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we finished round number 15 with 26 single crochets. Now we're gonna do round number 16 with 26 single crochets. So one single crochets after the other up to the end of our round. Well, I'm gonna pause to do that. So by the end of round 16, we have uh, 26 single crochets. Now we're gonna make round number 17. We're gonna do one single crochets and one increase four times. So one single crochet by itself and now two single crochets together, one and two, which it is an increase. So this is first uh, one single crochet and one increase. Now one single crochet and one increase twice one single crochet and one increase a third time and one single crochet and one increase a fourth time now we're gonna finish this round by doing 18 single crochet so one two three four so 18 single crochets single crochet after single crochet up to the end of our rounds of our round <laughs> this is round number 17 if you like my videos don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so you can be you can follow up every new pattern that I post I always post new patterns and also if you want to uh, ask for something I can try to make it you can leave down on the comments like an animal or a doll something you want in Amigurumi I can try to come up with a pattern and post it so I finished round we finished round 17 with 30 stitches now for round number 18 we're just gonna make 30 single crochets so one single crochet after the other up to the end of our round by the end of round 18, we're going to still have 30 single crochets. Now, we're going to start round number 19 with three single crochets. I already made one and put through my marker. So one, two, three single crochets. Now, we're going to do a popcorn stitch. I'm going to do here one to teach you how to do it. And the next ones I'm going to make a little bit faster. So if you want, you can go back to this point of the video. So here, on the uh, we finished three single crochets. One, two, three. Now on the next stitch, we're going to do five uh, double crochets. So one, two, three. All on the same stitch four and five. So 
So I just made here five double crochets. Focus, where is the focus? Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna get. So here, one, two, three, four, and five. I need it to focus, but it doesn't. Where is it? Oh, now it did. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we're gonna take, we're gonna come here on the fifth one and then take this loop that we left here, you see? And we're gonna pull through it. We're gonna pull through it. So this is a popcorn stitch. It's gonna be her legs. <laughs> So we did now three single crochets, one popcorn stitch. Now we're gonna make um, six single crochets. So now we're gonna come here on the next. We made all of this double crochets. So now we're gonna do here six single crochets. So on the next one single crochet, two, three, four, five, and six you see six single crochet now we're gonna do another popcorn stitch so pull a little bit now here on the next we're gonna do uh, five double crochet so one two three four and five double crochets now you're gonna come on the first one and take the loop here and pull through it. Another popcorn stitch. And we're gonna finish the round with 18 single crochet. So here in the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so single crochet after single crochet up to the end of our round. Here in Brazil, we say capivara. This is the name of capybara in Portuguese. And here in my town, especially, there is, they are uh, everywhere and around lakes. They're really sweet animals, really cute. So we finished here round number 19 uh, with the front legs. So you can look it up. By the end, we're gonna do the ears. So now we're gonna make six rounds with the same amount of stitches. Here we, we finish still with 30 uh, single crochets. We're gonna do here six rounds to make the body. So we're gonna do this part here and make the body. I'm gonna pause the video, you can pause it too. And then we're gonna make six rounds with 30 single crochets. I'm gonna start this one with you guys just to show you because you gotta be careful at, behind the popcorn stick. So here are one, two, three single crochets. Now I'm gonna turn here so you can see it. It's a little bit messy here, but there is a stitch here so four and now in the next five six seven eight nine ten turn around look at this here there is another you see the two loops oh where's the focus you see the two loops here? This is a stitch two. So you gotta do, be careful in doing this once. So the rest is just standard. You just do one single crochet after the other. So by the end of it, we're gonna make six rounds with 30 stitches. Just remember to do behind the popcorn stitch, not to miss them, okay? So I finish here my six rounds with 30 single crochets, rounds 20 to 25. Now I'm gonna start round number 26. So 
For round number 26, we're gonna make four single crochets. I already made one and put through my stitch marker. Now I'm gonna make three more. So two, three, and four. Now we're gonna make the back legs. Uh, so we're gonna do here a popcorn stitch. I'm not gonna say step by step, but you can uh, go back in the video a little bit to the first one, but I did it a little bit more slowly, so you can follow if you're new to the popcorn stitch. If you're not, that's fine. So come here in the first one and pull through. Now we're gonna make six single crochets, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you're gonna make another popcorn stitch. So that's the way I found it to do things uh, with no sewing needed. By doing different kind of stitches, generally amigurumis is just single crochets basically. But I like to make this different kind of stitches so I don't have to sew in tiny little legs. <laughs> so now we're gonna finish this round by doing 18 single crochets. So single crochet after single crochet up to the end of the round here in the marker. We're just gonna finish doing single crochets after single crochets and we're gonna finish round number 26 with 30 single crochets still so now that we finish round number 26 we're gonna go to round number 27 on round number 27 we're gonna make a pattern that repeats so one two three single crochets and one decrease so as I said before, gotta be careful that this is a stitch also behind the legs. So one decrease. So three single crochets, one decrease. Now one, two, three single crochets, and one decrease. This is the second time. Again, one, two, three single crochets and one decrease and we're gonna repeat that in total for six times up to the end of our round and we're gonna finish this round that is round number 27 with 24 stitches so for round number 28 we're gonna do two single crochets and one decrease so one two single crochets and one decrease and we're going to repeat that up to the end of a round so one two single crochets and one decrease so by uh for the whole round we're going to repeat that pattern two single crochets and one decrease six times so we're going to do that two single crochets one decrease two single crochet one decrease up to the end of our round and we're going to finish round number 28 with 18 stitches. I'm going to finish mine and then we come back. So now that we finish round number 28 with 18 stitches, we're going to stuff the body. It's like we just stuffed the head by now. Now I'm going to stuff the body. So this pattern, uh, it doesn't stamp up because the neck is too... The way it is done, the neck is kind of out of balance for the head to be this way, to look like a capybara. So a tip I give you is to put a weight on the body if you want it to stand. If you just stuff it, it's not going to stand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rattle that I made. Uh, with, uh, I made it myself with bottle caps. So... I'm gonna stuff it with it and also adds a little fun to the to the amigurumi and you see so a little bit of weight you can put like uh, glass balls 
and a little bit of uh, sand in a, in a bag. You can choose what you want to uh, stuff with it, but you have to do with uh, something that is heavy. So if you want it to stand, if you don't care that it doesn't stand and it falls, it's fine. So I'm going to stuff a little bit more later on. Just did like a, some. Now uh, what we're going to do is for round number 29. Oh, guess where are you? Ooh, so we're going to do one, one single crochet and one decrease. I'm going to repeat that six times. So one single crochet, one decrease, one time, one single crochet, one decrease, two times. And we're going to repeat that up to the end of a round. One single crochet and one decrease. So when I finish this round, I'm going to stuff it a little bit more. So I finish here round number 29 with 12 stitches. And for round number 30, we're going to do 6 decreases. So we're just going to do decreases. So one decrease after the other. Six ones. So here. Sometimes it gets hard because I need to get uh, away from my eyes. So it gets in the camera. So one decrease two decreases so we're gonna make six decreases by the end of our round so i finish here round number 30 which is the last round with six stitches which is six single crochets so now you can cut it out uh, cut the the yarn out and then you're gonna take a tapestry needle and we're gonna close this tiny hole here by doing inverted magic ring. So what we do is we just take the loops out of our last round and we pull through it. So we do this and pull through it. Now you're gonna go through so it doesn't stick it out. So you go through and pull so it gets like that. You see, so it's close up. Now I'm gonna tie a little bit of a knot here and tight and now I'm going to uh, lose this through the body so the it doesn't come out and I'm going to cut this yarn here and you see now it's loose and now you're going to make the ears and place it so for the ears we are going to make a magic ring and we're gonna do four single crochets on this magic ring. So one, two, three, and four. That's it. That's basically our ear. So now we're gonna pull the and close the magic ring. That's our ear. And I'm gonna cut this yarn you gotta cut it and leave a little bit of a tail so you can tie it on the body doesn't need to be that long so now that there is a loop here you take this one and pull through it you see so it's gonna close and this one in the end we're gonna take the first uh loop here you see where is the focus? You take this both loops here and we're gonna pull through it. You see? Oh. There you go. That you have it. That's our ear. Just like this one. So you can see that there is a part that is more curved and another one that is more uh, it's like a C shape so there is like one there is a little bit uh more stretch and the other one there's more curve so the stretch part like in this one gets to the front so to the front of the body 
and the curved one to the back. And where are we gonna place it? Uh, we're gonna take the rounds here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So through rounds nine, 10, and 11, we're gonna uh, put them, so three rounds, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So two rounds, nine, 10, 11, and one row, row above the eye. So here's the eye, so now here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is here where you're gonna place it. You take through the three rounds. Now you're gonna take the curve part. You're gonna take the curve part yarn and pull through. You see? That's how you do it without needing to sew. And now you're gonna take this side here and you're gonna tie a knot, like a normal knot. Just do it once, really tight, really, really tight, and then twice, and there you have it, you have the ears. So now you take this yarn, and you're gonna put through the tapestry needle and loose inside and cut the tips. So I'm gonna show like I like we did before with the the other yarn. So I take here and get out like in a random place, and then you cut the yarn off. And there, there you have it. So now we're gonna do a second ear just like it, and we're gonna do on the same row rows. So we're gonna take here uh, rounds nine, ten, eleven round one round above the eye so here here is where i'm going to place the second ear so we're gonna you can do that oh god <laughs> careful not to do this what i did so i'm gonna do the second one and place it and then cut it all up so we can see the finished project so there you have it. I already placed the second ear and tied it. And there is your capybara. This one is way tinier than the other one because I did with a three millimeters hook and a thinner yarn. And I really like this color for it. Uh, so look at the difference between them. And this one has a rattle in it. So it's pretty fun for kids. If you like the pattern, don't forget to give it a thumbs up can comment and if you posted uh, I link down below my Instagram and uh, if you post any pictures and you want to tag me on it I really enjoy when you do that uh, see the finished products and I love it and uh, I'm gonna do the rest of the animals like I shown before so if you want to do it uh, stay tuned Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.